we are at Menards in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Welcome everybody to the joy of trucking. We just dropped off a load and now we are here at the gate waiting for the paperwork to come through to pick up the next trailer, which amazingly, we did not have to get an empty from the last building to here, even though we did go back out on public roads. It's all related, so we did not have to hook up an empty. Kevin's having a little quick little snack. We have some fresh vegetables right there. And what's really cool, I'll tell you, because he's still chewing, <laughs> Kevin was actually here with his trainer at uh, Werner when he was out for three weeks with KK. Shout out to KK. Kevin, do you even recognize any of these places? Just yeah. the name. Yeah, I'm sure. You were here. Okay. Uh, that would be May 2021? April? April 2021. March? Oh my god, I'm still going back. April 21. Uh, yeah. Last time April I was here. 2021. Okay, we have drama. We have drama. Hey, what just happened, Kevin? <laughs> oh, come on. We have such a peaceful channel. It's so exciting when there's some drama. With Werner, we had so much more drama, but here at Crete, everything's usually pretty smooth. But just now, we have some drama. So, we just dropped off a load here at Menards in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And we already had our next load picking up here at Menards going to Nebraska. On the way here this morning, I said, hey, can I get another load pre-planned for after Nebraska? So they sent a message back saying, what time will you be available? So I sent a message back saying 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then we arrived and I sent all my information. We have arrived, we have dropped the load. I am now empty. And now we're here to pick up the next load so we can go to Nebraska, but they didn't send me any load information. So I sent a message saying, where's the load information for my next load? And I get a message back saying, it's uh, already been T-called. So I sent a message back, what has been T-called? Because we're here on time. Yeah, I don't know what. Very strange. Okay, we got drama here on the channel. Very exciting, stay tuned, we'll get back to you. Okay, so Kevin just spoke with somebody at dispatch. And what's the news, Kevin? He sent it all. Paperwork? Mm. Yeah, it's okay. goofed up. Ah, so our drama has already subsided? Yeah. What? Just gotta communicate. What? Load at Menards, open seven days a week, four hours, blah, 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 no general delivery season, no drivers every two hours again. Okay, well, sorry, viewers. I was really hoping to bring you some extended drama, but things at Crete are just <laughs> too darn peaceful for that. <laughs> All right, good stuff. So we are going to go, oh, there comes the paperwork now. And we're going to go right in here. And as planned, we're going to pick up our trailer, which we're taking to Nebraska. So he's reading paperwork. Pick up from 8.30 tonight until 3 tomorrow? What? what? That's not I'm the load we're talking read. the same load here? Yeah. That's a different load. Boats on Eau Claire. All right, parking. That's not the same as the information I got yesterday. Today is the 14th. Yeah, so that's okay. <clears throat> One five oh seven eight nine. Mm hmm and new and interesting was $500 fine if the seal is not intact. So that was kind of interesting. And there's parking overnight. And now Kevin writes all important numbers Trailer and number, things in his number. book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Delivery time is the same. Mileage. Mileage is good. Fuel solution is next. Loves 426 on the Yay! Fill her up in Shelby. IA is Iowa? Yeah. What's Idaho? ID. Exit 34. Wait 
waiting for us. Nice. A little muddy. Kevin's gonna drag mud into our nice, pristine, clean home. Make sure that the kingpin is locked in with the latch on the fifth wheel. Oh, dude. But, uh, Menards has a different way of doing things, so this might do as the bill of lading. I'll ask at the gate. Well, I'll, I'll do the paperwork at the gate. It's giving me the gross weight of truck and trailer combined. So I don't know if it was weighed with a truck like this or not. It doesn't tell me the weight of the actual load. So that's a little... I'm not going to enter that number in my paperwork. If I did, I'd be overweight.
<laughs> uh, okay, today he really left me behind. <laughs> uh, hello, wait for me. <laughs> I, I guess he figured I can use the exercise. I don't know, that was really funny. He usually stops a little earlier, but that's okay. It's very refreshing out here and the snow stopped, so that's nice. And I get my little, my little walk in. <laughs> Now he's even through the gate already, but he, he is waiting for me before he gets to the highway, so that's good. I'm just kidding. I know he has paperwork to do, so I have time to catch up. And look at this, how nice. Free rest break area for use by trucks delivering to Menards only, please. Dogs welcome and a porta potty available at the guard shack. Yeah, and then they even have a gated area for dogs. And here you can take a break. That's pretty cool. Nice. All right, I also figured out, I think Kevin thought since he didn't bring an empty trailer, he should just leave his wife. <laughs> All right. Let's go. So the company did send me the load information and I went right in and picked up the trailer and they gave me the paperwork at the guard shack and I just entered my loaded call, punched in my uh, my addresses on the GPS and I planned the trip and I just have to think about how many hours it'll take me to get there and when I'm going to stop for the night and when I'm going to start tomorrow morning. That's the last thing I have to plan out. So. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, give us a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed this time with us. Comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. Notification bell. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Look how beautiful Iowa rest area. Transportation as their theme. Really beautiful. Well done. And then look and all this available parking. It is after eight o'clock at night and there's still lots of spots left. Thank you, Iowa, it's awesome. And an RV dump station, how nice.